knowing what you know about how this rivalry, how big this game was, just how disappointing is it to come home without, without that victory? You know, it's uh, very disappointing, but uh, we get, we ain't got no choice. Now we got to move on, look forward to, you know, next week's game and, you know, get a win, get back on track. When it was 10 nothing, do you feel like that was going to uh, happen all day, moving the ball on them, or what was running through your mind at that point? Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely, you know, everybody's feeling like, you know, we should run away with this game and uh, feel like we can move the ball and everything, so. Kermit, can you feel the momentum switching? Uh, in the second quarter, especially the second half? I mean, a little bit, but uh, not really. I mean, good and bad things happen during the game. You got to, you know, stay level-minded. You can't ever get too high or too low. So I guess you didn't, uh, you didn't carry the ball once the second half. People wonder, how can that happen? Did you wonder that, or do you know the answer? You know me, I just go with the flow. Whatever it's called, I'm going to rock with it. I'm a team player, it don't matter. Mm -hmm. Whenever my number called, I'm going to go out there and try to make plays. Freddie's talked a lot the last couple of days about needing to make big plays at big moments, and that's what separated the win from the loss. You've been on playoff team. Like, what's the separate? What's the difference between those teams that get it done and the teams that don't in the biggest moment? Uh, honestly, the difference is uh, they ne we they the teams who want it done, they never get down on themselves. They know bad things happen, and they just move forward. They never, like... You know, never, there's always, throughout the game, we always believe we're going to win the game. So, so you never get down. You don't know how it ain't going to always be pretty but or perfect. It's never going to be perfect. But as long as we execute it and get the job done, that's all that matter. Do you think you guys have that attitude, or you're still too inexperienced in big games? I mean, I'm not really. Sometimes I feel like we do. I don't know. Sometimes we don't. Do you think the Steelers were doing a good job of containing you and, and Chuck, or do you think not? I mean, they had a pretty good game plan. We only scored 10 points, so I guess so. When you guys look at um, the offensive side of the ball that you have, you, Nick, and Odell, and Jarvis, is it just mind-boggling that you Weren't able to, first of all, weren't able to score more than 13 points, but to you know have to come home and lose to a team that's got guys named Duck that nobody's ever heard of. I mean, yeah, it is kind of frustrating. We got the players, and uh, we know we just gotta, you know, play together as a team and you know keep it going. Freddie said that you know after you guys had built that early lead that he felt the Steelers took the, their intensity to another level, and you guys had a problem matching it. Is that something that st stood out to you, and how, like, what's the lesson learned from that? I mean, yeah, they definitely did, and uh, we got to learn to take it up a notch, too, if they do. So we just got to learn how to you know, make the corrections, figure out what they're doing, to, you know, try to slow us down, and we got to fix it. We got to have an answer for it. Is that like a, um, a challenge mentally for a young team on the road in a playoff atmosphere when you get out, out to a lead that... I don't know if guys relax at all in the back of their minds or whatever, but is that a challenge? I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's a challenge. It's just a mindset thing. I mean, if everybody got that mindset, one goal can't be beat. So uh, I'm a person who always going to believe in my ability and uh, what my, our team can do. You notice that Pittsburgh is particularly challenging with their defensive front seven, or how would you uh, characterize how they stack up with their front seven? They got, a, they, got a, they got a great front seven. You know, those edge rushes are great. They come off the ball, you know, they get pressure on the quarterback. And they got uh, some big guys in the middle, too. So they got a good front seven for sure. After you had those two, I think they were 16 yard runs at the end of the first half, did you talk Freddie into calling time out there? I didn't say nothing. I'm not no coach. I just, whatever's called, I'm going to run it, and if I'm in the game, I'm going to give my all. Was it hard? I didn't want to ask you. Was it harder to play over the course of the game in that, uh, in terms of the crowd noise, you guys had them out of the game. It was very quiet, I thought, uh, when it was 10-0. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even notice. Didn't even notice. Felt like a normal game. I mean, there were times they got a little loud, but Nothing we can handle. How do you approach the last four games, the playoff hopes? Are really play by play, 
play by play, you know what I mean, game by game, and just wait and see what happens. Honestly, that's all we can do. And shoot, it's in our hands just to, you know, win these last, this next game and these last few ones. I mean, yeah, we got to go out there and play like we still got an opportunity to go to playoffs. So I feel like that's what we're going to do and uh, hopefully get these things rolling these last few weeks. Do you feel good about this team's character, the, I mean, the you know, fight to the end attitude and everything? Yeah, I feel good about it. Yeah, I feel good about it. I love to go out there and fight with these guys.